So how much do I spend as a 29 year old living in Southern California? Well, I'm going to break down all the numbers for you today, exactly what, how much my rent is to what I spend to how much I spend on my business, my overhead, my entertainment, my gas, and all that good stuff. I think, you know, people have the perception of living in Southern California is a little skewed, right? Numbers are a little bit everywhere. It could be expensive or whatever the case may be. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of exactly how much I spend. So for those of you that don't know, I run my own digital marketing agency, so it allows me to work from home. And uh, so for majority of the time, I am home. I don't have to commute or drive to a lot of places I the only place I really drive to is probably like the gym and back home in the mornings and then on the weekends occasionally I'll take the family out or hang out with friends and things like that but throughout the week I'm not really traveling I'm not stuck in traffic or anything like that which is really convenient so by having my digital market agency it's been able to help me pay for you know a lot of my lifestyle and all that good stuff so by being able to work from home with my digital market agency I don't have to rent out like an office I don't have to really hire lots of workers or anything like that a lot of my workers are from overseas and all that good stuff but my agency we or my business it does generate you know a solid amount of revenue I've been fortunately been able to do pretty well with my business and it really helps me afford everything that I have uh, and the overhead for that with softwares hiring contractors virtual assistants off of Upwork and stuff we have websites I'm, I paid for some mentorship and so for the numbers I'm going to be giving you is for the month of October of 2022 here fortunately my agency has been able to made me you know good amount of revenue to help me afford everything that I have and I'm going to be going over the overhead costs with you guys so with the overhead cost with uh, softwares and just being able to hire contractors virtual assistants and all that good stuff I've paid for mentorship we have some website hosting domain we have little fees in here and there and all that good stuff and it is for the month of October I've paid an overhead total amount of $15,223. Now, I guess, I don't know if that's really me spending because it's just really business operations, right? And probably most of it is, or not not most, most if not all, are all tax write off So right off the bat, $15,223 is spent. Now, obviously we can look at that as an investment. In my eyes, it's just operating costs. Now, as far as like personal expenses here, I'm going to go down this list for you guys, okay? So we have my car payment, which I set it to a certain amount every single month I checked it it says I can pay a lot less if I wanted to um, but I just set it and forget it and that way I can just get it paid off faster if anything and my car payment every single month is $900 the next expense really isn't an expense because it's more of an investment I don't really see it but I mean technically it's still mine it's just I don't use it because it's being invested into stocks and stuff like that and hopefully we can see growth over time things the market is a little down right now but nonetheless it's not really me disappearing out of my life technically but every single month here or not every single month because I have made changes to it sometimes I'll invest a little bit more some months I'll invest a little less but in the month of October, I invested a total of $1,400. Next up we have is gas. Now, like I said, I don't drive a lot of, but occasionally on the weekends, I'll go out with friends or I'll go out here and there. I'll take my family out. My car does use up a lot of gas, I would say. Uh, so in the month of October, we spent a total of $200 which I would say is pretty average, right? Compared to someone that does drive a lot, I think for myself, even though I don't drive a lot, it's still $200 on gas each month. Uh, the next expense I have here are meals. I have meals and this is me going out to eat. This is me going out to eat with friends, me taking my family out to dinners. Probably maybe, I don't know if I included groceries into this, but nonetheless, it I spent a total of $826, which I don't think is that bad because I do eat at home a lot too. Throughout the week, I eat at home uh, my parents you know live down the street so I'm occasionally going back there and eating so really it's just the weekend and groceries here and there is when I'll take what this is being spent on the other expense I have here is uber so uh, when i go out with my friends we don't want to drink and drive or anything like that or maybe not even just going out but getting around places sometimes i spent on uber in the month of october i spent 58 dollars. so that sometimes there's surcharges and stuff like that after hours it does get a little bit more expensive uh utilities in the month of october it wasn't too bad because i just moved into this penthouse so there wasn't a lot of utility to be spent on uh it was a whopping only 18 dollars. i had a fee for my credit card so i recently 
recently signed up for American Express Gold card, which is pretty cool so far. I like it. I like how it feels, uh, all that good stuff. And they had an amazing bonus. By the way, I'm not promoting it in any way, but I paid an Amex fee. It is an annual fee of $250. I recently, I think I had it for like a month. They charged me that fee the, the following month so that I could get my uh, entertainment. My next fee here is entertainment. This is going out, maybe movies, tickets, events. Uh, I think I went to like Universal Horror Nights in the month of October, which was really fun. I spent a total here of $738 on entertainment. Amazon, spent some Amazon here, just buying stuff for the house, maybe for business, whatever the things I might need. Uh, we spent a total of $129. Um, I have this other payment that I made here. I think this is me paying for one of my parties that I had someone come and kind of help out the place. I paid a total of $246 there just to have that. And then lastly, my rent. My rent for this place is about, uh, 50 something hundred. I have one roommate, he stays with me. He's actually a really good friend of mine. And in the month of October, my rent I paid was around $3,500. So adding all that up, it is a total of $8,265 on my purse for my personal expenses. So with my personal expense and my overhead costs from my business, so $8,265 on my personal expense and $50,223 for my overhead expenses for my business, that is a combined of $23,000 $488. That is how much I spent in the month of October as a 29 year old living in Southern California. So it might seem like a lot, but it is because, you know, I've been fortunate enough to have my digital marketing agency uh, that allows me to, you know, afford my rent and uh, all that good stuff. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight on, you know, what I spent. And so that is how much I spent in the month of October as a 29 year old living in Southern California. Hopefully this video is entertaining to you guys. If you thought it was, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow the journey, my name is Jordan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.